Hey friends, and welcome to Yoga with Rachel. Yoga for creativity. Get ready to play, try something new, and have some fun. No items are required for our practice together. So let's just get this party started. Join me down on the ground or on a couch or chair in a comfortable seat of your choice. You can choose a cross-legged seat, one leg in front of the other, or kneeling. Once you are settled, loop your right shoulder, followed by your left shoulder. Nod your head yes one or two times. And then shake your head no one or two times. Bring your head back to center. Allow your hands to rest in your lap, on your thighs, on your knees. Your choice. Allow your eyelids to soften and eventually close. Join me in a beautiful breath in through your nose. And then a slow, loving breath out through your nose. Yoga for creativity. What does creativity mean to you? Perhaps it means to use your imagination. It could mean to demonstrate resourcefulness, such as thinking on your feet in a number of different situations. It may mean permission to explore and stay curious. When it comes to our yoga class today, I invite you to keep creativity in your mind. How can you demonstrate creativity on your mat? Perhaps you explore a creative way of transitioning from one posture to the next. Maybe you do not look at the screen and just allow my voice to guide you. This may invite more creative freedom as you listen and interpret what I am saying. Perhaps it means exploring a different posture than the one that I demonstrate because you know that it would be a better option for you. I invite you to reflect upon what it means to be creative and how you can show that both on and off of your mat. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your nose or your mouth. Open your eyes. Make your way to all fours. When you arrive there, stack your wrists under your shoulders and knees under your hip points. Right away, let's jump into some cat cows. Breathe in to drop your belly, chest reaches forward, chin reaches towards the sky. Cow pose. I invite you to use your creative mind. Visualize a cow in an open field, surrounded by grass, soaking up the sun. Breathe out to round through your spine, Belly button hugs in towards your spine, tailbone tucks under, crown of your head reaches towards the earth. Lightly grip your mat with your fingertips in cat pose. Visualize a cat stretching their back body. This must be why cats stretch it out all the time, because it just feels so good. Breathe in to drop your belly, look forward, cow pose. Breathe out to find your cat pose, arching through your back body. Now, my friend, you take it away. Feel free to close your eyes, moving at your own pace. If you find that you are getting bored, perhaps discover a new way to enter cat and cow. Maybe when transitioning to cow pose, 
you draw your chin up towards the sky before dropping your belly, and then you reach your tailbone to the sky. And maybe as you transition to cat pose, you draw your chin towards your chest, then you round through your spine, and lastly, tuck your tailbone under. Explore different ways to move. All right, now perhaps break free of this structure. Play around with moving your hips from side to side, perhaps visualizing the movement of a snake as you do this. There's an option to continue this action or you can move your hips in a circular motion. Eventually, we find stillness. Breathe in to hug your right knee in towards your chest, round through your spine, bring your nose towards your knee. Breathe out to move your leg in the opposite direction, reaching the sole of your foot to the sky, chin reaches towards the sky. Breathe in to hug your knee in, nose towards your knee. Breathe out to send the sole of your foot to the sky and look up. One more round, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in to hug your knee in towards your chest one last time, and then breathe out to step your right foot through. Fingertips frame your foot. There's an option to walk your left knee back for a deeper stretch. Your front knee is in line with your ankle. Breathe in to look forward. Breathe out to send your hips back, straighten through your front leg, rolling onto your right heel. Breathe in to look forward, and then breathe out to bow your head, forehead towards your knee, half splits. Breathe in to come forward, coming back to your lunge, front knee is bent. Breathe out to come back to a half split. Breathe in to roll on through your foot, coming back to your lunge and then plant your left palm onto the earth. Breathe in to follow your right hand as you send your right hand to the sky. There's an option to curl your left toes under to lift your back knee for a little bit more heat. Play around with reaching your right hand forward towards the top edge of your mat, and then back on up towards the sky. Breathe in. Breathe out to lower your right hand back to the earth and the same with your back knee. Uncurl your toes. Connect to your center as you step your right foot back to join your left foot. On your next breath in, hug your left knee in towards your chest. Round through your spine. Draw your nose towards your knee. Breathe out to send the sole of your left foot to the sky as you look on up. Two more rounds. Breathe in. Hug it in. Breathe out, foot to the sky. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in to hug your knee in towards your chest, and then step your left foot through. Walk your right knee back for a deeper stretch. Stay light on your fingertips. Find length through your neck by tucking in your chin slightly. Breathe in to loop your shoulders, look forward, and then breathe out to send your hips back, straighten through your front leg, walk your hands back in space. Breathe in to look forward, breathe out to bow your head. Let's flow. Breathe in to come forward, finding your lunge. Breathe out to a half split, bow your head. Breathe in, come forward, 
Breathe out, hips go back and bow your head. Breathe in to make your way back to a lunge. Plant your right hand on the mat and then on your next breath then, send your left hand to the sky, look up. There's an option to lift your back knee away from the mat. Breathe in. Breathe out to reach your left hand towards the top edge of your mat. Breathe in and reach your hand towards the sky once again. And then breathe out to come out of your twist. Lower your back knee and your left hand to the earth. Uncurl your toes, connect to your center, and step your left foot back to join your right. All right, step your right foot back and then your left foot, reaching your heels towards the back edge of your mat. Press away from the ground in this high plank. Let's play a little here. Roll onto the outer edge of your left foot. Right foot is stacked on top of your left foot, or you can step your right foot in front of your left leg, and then reach your right hand to the sky. Lift your hips. Breathe in. Breathe out to come back to a plank. Breathe in. Breathe out to a side plank on the other side. So rolling onto the outer edge of your right foot, choose an option with your top foot that feels most supportive here. Reach your left hand to the sky. Perhaps this time, look on up. Breathe in. Breathe out to come back to a high plank. Breathe in. Breathe out, side plank on the other side. Perhaps this time you lift your top foot towards the sky. Or you can bring the sole of your foot in and connect it with your inner left thigh. Breathe in. Breathe out to make your way back to a high plank. You got this. Breathe on in. Breathe out to a side plank on the other side. Perhaps you explore a creative movement here. Breathe in. Breathe out to a high plank. Breathe in. Breathe out to walk your hands back to your feet. We meet in a forward fold. Breathe in to slide your hands past your shins and then to your thighs. Elbows hug in. Look down at your mat. Breathe out to fold. Now walk your hands forward and towards the top edge of your mat to a high plank. Now begin to walk your hands back towards your feet. Breathe in to find a halfway lift. Perhaps this time you reach your hands back and behind you, feeling some lovely work happening in your triceps. And breathe out to fold. Walk your hands towards the top edge of your mat. Wrists are stacked under your shoulders. And then walk your hands to the long edges of your mat. Breathe in. And breathe out to send your hips to the sky, finding your downward facing dog. I invite you to go inward and decide what would feel best here. Perhaps pedaling out your feet. Perhaps exploring a wide dog. Bringing your feet to the long edges of your mat. You can explore stepping your right foot behind your left leg and then check it out on the other side. You can visualize a dog wagging their tail, just like when they greet you at the door. Perhaps this visual invites you to wiggle your hips from side to side. Listen to that inner voice, explore, and play. Eventually, we find stillness. Make your way to the top of your mat. You decide how you get there. We meet in a forward fold with bent knees. On your next breath then, send your hands to the sky. Breathe out, hands come to your heart in prayer position. Take a moment to notice how you feel. Wonderful. Release your hands to your sides. 
step your right foot behind your left leg. Plant your whole right foot on the ground. Breathe in to send your hands to the sky. Left hand grabs your right wrist as you reach over to the left side. Bump your hips to the right. So we are making a banana shape with our body. Breathe into your right side and then breathe out to release and unravel. Other side. Step your left foot behind your right leg. Breathe in to reach your hands to the sky. Breathe out as your right hand grabs your left wrist. Reach over to the right side. Hips bump to the left. Breathe in. Breathe out to release and unravel. Now walk your feet under your hips if they are not already there. Step your right foot behind you, not too far away from your front foot. Your right toes will rest on the ground. We are going to play around with a balancing movement. Feel free to stand close to a wall. Shift your weight to your left foot and find a small bend in your left knee. Now, slowly begin to lift your right toes away from your mat, hinging forward at your hip. Continue to lift your leg to about hip level or to a point that feels most comfortable for you. Point through your toes. Your torso is about parallel to the ground. Reach your arms forward, biceps towards your ears, palms facing one another. Warrior three. Oh yes, we got this. It is all good, my friend. If you fall out of the posture, just make your way back into the pose and try, try, try again. Now begin to slowly bring your knee in towards your chest. Your torso remains parallel to the earth. As your knee comes in, send your hands back and behind you, palms facing the ground. Breathe in and breathe out to make your way back to a warrior three. Leg back with the hands reaching forward and towards the top edge of your mat. Breathe in and breathe out to release your right toes back to the earth. Rise on up, arms return to your sides. Step your right foot to join your left. Awesome work. Our right leg will now serve as a standing leg, so please find a small bend in that knee as you step your left foot back, toes kissing the earth. Breathe in. Breathe out to slowly transition to a warrior three. Lifting your left foot off of the ground, your upper body is moving forward and you're looking down at the ground. Whenever you feel ready, reach your hands forward, slow and controlled. Breathe in and breathe out to hug your left knee in towards your chest as you send your hands back in space. Perhaps you can imagine that you are flying through the air. You got this. Breathe in. Breathe out to make your way back to a warrior three. Breathe in. Breathe out to release your left foot to the earth. You did it. Awesome work. All right, step your left foot up to join your right. Let's continue to tap into those creative juices with a fun movement. Walk your feet wider than hip distance apart and find a small bend in your knees. Your arms are resting at your sides. Twist your upper body to the right and then to the left. Right, left, right, and left. Continue this action. I invite you to pick up the pace, so taking this a little bit faster. Arm swing as you do this action, and perhaps you gently tap your body. Make this movement your own, connecting breath to action, or perhaps you get a little playful with your arms. There's an invitation to let it all go. And hey, it's all good if we look a little silly. Consider the joy, the freedom that can happen when we drop the shape 
or drop what we think is expected of us and just go with it. Just going with the flow. And wherever you are, we are here for five, four, three, two, one. Begin to slow it down and then find stillness. Walk your feet and legs together. Place your hands on your hips and then draw your elbows back in space, opening up through your chest. Perhaps you imagine your favorite superhero. This could be a fictional character or anyone that you consider to be a superhero. Close your eyes and visualize this individual in your mind. I invite you to keep your eyes closed and trust that you got this. On your next breath in, send your hands to the sky. Allow your fingertips to find one another up and overhead. And then bring your palms together. Slowly draw your hands to your heart space and bow your head. Take a quiet moment here to consider what creativity means to you. What are some of the ways you demonstrated creativity on your mat today? Did you try a new movement or posture? Did you get creative with your transitions from one pose to the next? Did you explore another posture or option outside of the ones that I demonstrated today? Did you make use of imagery during our practice? Finally, how do you feel? I find that when I allow myself to be creative, I experience so much joy and freedom. I almost feel like a kid again, exploring, playing, seeing things from a different lens or perspective, giving myself permission to take an appropriate risk or even make a mistake and be okay with it. So I ask you again, how do you feel? You do not need to have an answer. This is just something to think about, to reflect upon. It is my hope that you enjoy today's class. Please subscribe to Yoga with Rachel. It is free to do so. Like the video, share this class with others, and please leave a comment telling me about your experiences on the mat today. Let's take one final breath in together through our nose and then just sigh it out. Let it all go. Take good care. Namaste.